Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, we are very excited to have Mobiles with us today to introduce and demonstrate the power of their ReviewMe product and how we have successfully integrated it within the autotrader.ca marketplace. So over the next half hour, you will learn a little bit more about what ReviewMe is, how it works, and how it can benefit your dealership. Mobiles will also share with us some best practices and the overall trends on how consumer recommendations are changing the shopping experience and consumer path. So before we get started, uh, just a few quick housekeeping um, items. So we absolutely encourage questions to be asked and submit it throughout the webinar. You'll notice on the right of your screen there is a navigation pane and there's something called the questions pane. So please go ahead and enter any questions or concerns that you might have. Uh, we will do our best to answer all the questions at the end, but we do only have 10 minutes. Uh, so whatever questions we don't ask, we will follow up with you all directly. Uh, just be mindful that we are uh, recording, uh, so actually more so for those in the room, that we just keep our cell phones on vibrate. Um, at the end, we will be sending a link out to all those who have registered with a copy of the recording as well as the presentation that you will see today. Uh, so without further ado, I would like to introduce our two speakers. Uh, today we've got James Hayes, co-founder and CEO of Mobiles. James is the innovative force of the company and he is responsible for providing the vision, thought leadership, and the overall business strategy. We've also got Cheryl Milani, VP Sales at Mobiles. Cheryl is uh, the VP Sales of Mobiles, where she leads the vision, strategy, and execution for their rapidly growing enterprise and in-house sales team. So I will pass over to Cheryl to get started. Thank you, Manisa, and thank you to Trader for having us here today. Um, so why should you invest 20 minutes of your time? We know in the car business that's a lifetime. The way I wanted to sum it up is the game has really changed and we're playing by new rules. I think what we're going to show you today is going to help explain how we can engage in that game and win a little more often. Um, one of the things that stuck out to me was a stat that, you know, being in the business for 20 years, it sold cars, you know, this was something that really struck me. The average consum consumer visits 1.1 dealerships before choosing their car. That has changed from the three that we were taught for years and years, they're going to buy their car at the third dealership. That means they're doing all their decision making online. They're deciding what they're going to buy, who they're going to buy it from, and where they're going to buy it before they ever come to your door. 87% of all customers have done their entire research, so they know more than we do in most of the cases. On average, they're spending 10 to 18 hours researching, and they're five times more likely to buy from you if they believe that experience is going to be positive. So I'm going to segue over to James to explain in a little more detail how all of that impacts you. Thanks, Cheryl. So what we wanted to look at here with this slide is really talk about the three verticals that generally dealerships are utilizing for their marketing and the influence that those have on the auto shopping experience for the consumer. And as you can see, we've got yellow, green, and blue. Blue being the least influential and generally the more traditional offline print radio and television type marketing efforts that we're doing. But what I wanted to draw attention to is the yellow, the in-person experiences, your own personal dealership, the test drive, the dealer visit, the interaction with the salesperson and the experience that the actual consumer is gathering from that. And then after they leave, the friends and family and the sharing of that experience in traditional word of mouth. Well, we're going to hold what Cheryl just said is true, that the in-person experience has dwindled down to next to nothing, even though many, many dealerships are still investing a great deal of time, energy, and money into their in-person experience, which you absolutely must. But what we saw as an opportunity with Mobiles and with the ReviewMe product is, how do we take that win, the in-person experience, and how do we showcase that online where they're doing their research, where they're making their purchases, purchasing decisions? whether it's on your dealer website, whether it's on a manufacturer site, whether it's on a third-party marketplace like Trader or within Search. And that is why we built ReviewMe and Mobiles, is to translate your fantastic in-person customer experiences where your customers are shopping online. And what we've seen is from that experience, consumers love to be recommended by those they trust. And I want to talk about what a recommendation is because a lot of people seem to get lost in today's connected world and online, offline, word of mouth, not. What is a recommendation? So let's just go into that. If 92% of people 
trust recommendations from their family and friends or leading influencers, what we want to say to ourselves is this is the marketing holy grail. This is the one thing that we need to be doing better than anyone else. We need to be getting recommendations and we need to be giving first great experiences, which I know every single one of the dealers that is listening right now is doing for sure. But if 92% of the consumer is going to be influenced through their purchase decision from a recommendation, how do we make sure that those recommendations are included where they're doing their research? And where should that be? Well, what we've seen within dealerships is a lot of times there's a differentiation between online and offline. Online, everyone's saying you need reputation management. You need to make sure that you're managing all of the traditional review sites that are out there, which you do. But more importantly, what we said is, where is the consumer gathering all of their information? Where are they shopping? And where does that recommendation need to be showcased even more? And in the Canadian market, what we've seen is it needs to make, you need to make sure that those positive brand recommendations, those great experiences that your customers are having at your dealership, are showcased where you're showcasing your inventory, on your publishing site, where your inventory is showcasing up in search, and then wherever you're marketing your own dealer assets, whether it's social, uh, on your own website, or within your manufacturing OEM vertical. And that's in the online space. And then we said, well, let's make, take it even further. Let's make sure that a word of mouth recommendation isn't just an offline process that we're focusing on at the dealership. Let's make sure that if we're looking to capture testimonials and reviews, that we have an integrated process for it to happen within the social networks of our consumers. And let's make sure that they're sharing with many of their friends, and Cheryl's going to talk about this process much more. But let's make sure that we understand a re recommendation has both an offline and an online place, and we very much focus on the online place. And this is what we focus. Again, back to those red graph lines. If the consumer trusts their friends and family the most, a brand advocate, someone that's had an experience with your brand, a coworker, someone that, that may, may not be particularly close with but that loves your brand, and, and secondarily, a product expert, a salesperson, how do we make sure that those recommendations are with your actual marketing efforts, your inventory, like places like Trader? And I'm going to let Cheryl speak to that. So one of the things that you may be wondering at this point is James has talked to you about why we need the customer's voice syndicated to where they're looking. We need to make sure that it's online. You're probably sitting there going, okay, how do I do that? There's been some ways in the past that are a lot of work. I've got to engage my entire team. There's a number of different solutions. We have come up with one that makes it very, very simple in two scenarios. So ReviewMe is a platform that will allow you either A, to do it all automatically without the involvement of your staff. Um, we can literally have you up with reviews overnight so that you have some content to syndicate out to AutoTrader, to all those good places. And B, we have another solution that will allow you to really tap into what James was just speaking about, which is how do I turn my customer into an advocate that is putting the word of mouth on their social network? How do I do that? So there's three areas that ReviewMe really impacts. One being the SEO benefit. That's where we want to make sure that customers see you when they're doing their initial search. The review syndication. Obviously with AutoTrader today, we're talking about why is it so important to have that customer's voice there. And the third place that ReviewMe helps you is with that consumer social referral. And I jokingly call it word of mouth on steroids, but in reality that's true. I'm going to pass it back to James to really go into more depth about the SEO benefit of ReviewMe. Thanks, Cheryl. So what we looked at and what the opportunity was that we saw is, generally speaking, with traditional review sites and search, someone searches for a restaurant and Yelp comes up with a star rating in search, and that star rating is called a Google Rich Snippet. And what we realized is, within the dealer space, if someone is doing an, a search for, say, SMP Chev reviews, we asked ourselves a question, does the dealer want all these traditional review sites to come up first within Google search. And the overwhelming answer that we heard was, no, it's not our number one lead generation source. What we want to come up is our website, with our brand, with our inventory, with our people. How do we make sure that when someone's searching for reviews on dealership, something that we have a stake in comes up in the listing? And what we've done with ReviewMe is delivered that solution to you. So what this is is a little bit of a blown out version of what you just saw 
which is S&P Chev's rating, which was coming up first within that search. They're utilizing our tool. And more specifically, it has the star rating attached to that. And why is this so important? Where does this SEO benefit come? Well, from us, it comes back to if a consumer is actively searching for reviews on your dealership, we want to make sure that your listing, your own web URL, has got a Google Rich snippet because it, it gets a 20 to 30% higher click-through rate than the other listings that are showcased on page one or page two of search. This is a very important part because we're giving you ownership back of your content to make sure that when consumers are searching for your dealership and the experience that your dealership delivers, that is coming from a site, your own site, that generates you the most value for that. Secondarily, we've talked to a lot of dealers and they said, well, you know what, dealers, we, we don't see customers actually looking for us first. Their purchase path has them looking for the vehicle that they're looking for and we actually couldn't agree more and that's why we're so excited about the trader integration. Because what we've seen is, if someone's looking for a 2012 Honda Civic in London, Ontario, they're going to type in 2012 Honda Civic, London, Ontario. And what's going to come up is a page like this with a number of links. At a closer look, what you see is who owns this space. And generally speaking, what you see is wonderful third-party partners like you have here with Trader who have got exceptional SEO branding and they own those searches. And it's wonderful because you're already working with them as a partner. Your inventory is already listed there. So if a consumer is searching, and these are the results that are coming up, let's make sure that when they click that link, that it, when it goes into the Trader platform, it's showcasing you now a mini Google, a mini search engine, which showcases all the inventory specific to your, to your actual search. Now, I know this is pretty small, so we're going to go to the next slide. And showcase this is what your inventory looks like. And generally speaking, a consumer, they're very much looking for a 2012 Honda Civic. And what we've said and what we've learned is let's stop working as a commodity-based business. Let's stop just showcasing price and a car proof report and financing options and features and functions and mileage. And let's start focusing back on those yellow bars, the most influential pieces, which is the star rating, which is the consumer's voice, which is the showcase that your brand is an exceptional brand to, to actually work with. And when they click that star rating on that inventory, let's make sure that your happy customer's voice and the experience in your sales department, in your service department, and across your entire dealership, whether it's bios on your salespeople, pictures of happy customers, let's make sure that all that information is available to them so that they have more, than, uh, more information to make a decision in that huge amount of research they're doing than based on commodity-based items like price and features and function. So this is a, a couple places that you've seen that we integrate into Trader, whether it's in their search listing, if we can go to the next slide, whether it's on the inventory pages that you guys are paying for, when they're actually researching the vehicle, we want to make sure that right underneath your dealer logo, again, they have access to a very quick click and they can see what it's like to work with your dealership. Because remember, you're spending millions of dollars to make sure that your dealership has great, great experiences, but if you're not showcasing that in search, if you're not showcasing that on your own website, in your own social networks, and most importantly, on the partners, your third-party marketing partners and marketing platforms, then what was the whole point in the first place? Because they're, they're not doing the research in your store. Next slide. And this is the last part that we like to focus on around the value that we give. It's around our publishing partners. We know that you work with a number of publishing partners and we work with all of those partners. We have an open policy. We do not charge any of our partners to have any of our content. If you work with them and you want your, your solution sent to them, we do that. Today we've got a number of our, our existing partners and uh, we have many more coming soon. And the most important thing to remember here is, is if you're working with a marketing partner and you want your number one brand extension, your experience showcased there, we're a partner that you should be working with because we will work with all of the partners within Canada uh, knock on wood, very, very soon. And on that note, I'm going to pass it back over to Cheryl to help you understand the whole social component and, and the sharing process. So James has gone through why it's so vitally important to have your customer's voice and showcasing your experience where your consumers are looking. There's another piece to this though. If we look at the salespeople of today, they now have the opportunity to take their brand and put it out there too and get their customers working on their behalf. So how do we get your customers to advocate for you? In other ways, not just SEO, not just syndication, in social. 
So a lot of us as dealers have bird dog programs. If someone refers a friend, we'll buy them dinner, we'll do all these lovely things. We want to take that word of mouth and make it trackable and put it on steroids, as I said earlier. So if you take a look at this slide, this is one of the customers, Paul, who has advocated on behalf of Wayne Noble, our sales rep at McMaster Chevrolet. He has actually taken this and pushed it to Facebook, Twitter, or Google and said, this is who I dealt with. My experience was amazing. These are the types of things that you want out there to move you from being that commodity James spoke to. This is a picture of an experience that Sharon and Jean Guy had, and they're actually proving that they were there. This is good. This is the other step to review me. You can have your salespeople use the app. It's very, very simple. The customer just gets it on their phone. They can do it right away, and they can share that instantly. Before they walk out the door, you could have tapped into their social network of influence of over 1,000 people. It's that fast. And you want to have pictures and content because people enjoy clicking it. What is a social referral program? We talked about how it drives um, people through the trusted voice of family and friends. It gets your happy customers to market for you, and it brings up to where they're going. We already talked about where have the customers gone. They're not coming to the dealership door like they were. They're coming online, and that's where you've got to impress them. In summary, we wanted to make sure that we position Review Me so that you understand why it's so important to have this indication on Trader. We've talked about the three major areas where we can be of assistance. The first being SEO, the second being syndication to your publishing partners, and the third, the social referral program. I'm going to pass it back to Manisa now for any specific questions, and we'll try to answer as many as we can. Okay, so I'm going to take a look here. Um, we've got one question from Dave. Can you help with Google reviews? Okay, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a, a good question. It comes up uh, often. And the answer is yes, we can help you as a dealership with your Google reviews. If you're asking whether or not these reviews specifically push into Google, if anyone ever tells you they have a solution that can push any third-party reviews into the Google system, they are not being truthful with you. But what we've done is created a solution that allows you to target Google reviews as a campaign through the use of our software. It would, uh, it would take a little bit longer than what this uh, specific demo and webinar can, can uh, showcase to you, but we'd be happy to showcase it to you on a private demo uh, if you would like to uh, reach out to Cheryl, and then you could understand how we're helping dealerships not only utilize the syndication of, to the, platform, or to the uh, partners that we have, but how can you have a customer target uh, Google specifically? And the answer is yes, we can do that, and we've been quite successful with it. Great. Uh, before I move to the next question, just a reminder that um, you can type in your questions on the right-hand navigation bar. Uh, so another question from Jim. How simple is the process for capturing reviews? This is something we get asked a lot. Um, some of our dealers have sales forces that may not be technology savvy, um, and they need a little bit of help. A lot of people see the value in making sure that their reputation and their experience is syndicated in all these ways, but they just don't have a sales team that's going to be able to adopt it. The good news is we can do this for you in a very automated process um, that will not involve um, having day-to-day -day interaction from your actual staff members. And again, we'd be happy to go through that with you. And if you want to reach out to us, we'll let you know how we do that. Great. Uh, the next question we have is from Jane. Uh, she would like to know, what is the investment um, and if there is a contract? Okay, good question. So there is a no contract, and, and let me rephrase that. The contract is, is that we must be doing good work for you, or you can move forward with us, or not. And so it's a 30-day contract. Uh, we don't make you sign a 12 or 24-month contract when you're working with us. Uh, the investment, we try to make this as simple as possible and as risky as possible for a dealer. We also give a 30-day free trial for the use of the software. The only costs that are involved is a $4.99 setup fee, which is the process of onboarding and training and uh, getting all of your components set up, whether it's social, website, integration with your publishers, and so on. And the monthly fee, if you should decide to move past the free trial, is $5.85 a month. So hopefully, Jane, that, that answers your question, and uh, we'd be happy to speak to you more in a uh, private demo. Uh, we've got another one here from Paul. How do I sign up? <laughs> I'm glad that was asked. 
so the answer to that is uh, you can go to our mobiles.com website, and that's M-O-B-I-A-L-S.com, and you can click on the free trial link, uh, sign up uh, for the trial, and the onboarding process will start with you right away. You'll be hearing from uh, one of our account reps, whether it's uh, Adam or Doug or Cheryl. Uh, you'll be hearing from them right away, and we would start that process for you, and we'd have you up and running within a week. Perfect. Uh, we've got a question here from Jasmine. How does Review Me actually push social recommendations? Can they also syndicate the reviews that we already have on Google back to Review Me or Dealer, Dealer Rater or Facebook? So if you're asking if we can pull in the content that you've already cre uh, collected from other review sites, the answer is no, we cannot pull that content in because we've already captured, you've already captured that content on a third party site. So I, uh, I apologize for that, but that's something that we can't put in third-party reviews into this ecosystem, just like we can't push our reviews into Google uh, and or DealerRater. It has to be done through a customer's interaction, a truly transparent system. That's the second part of your question. What was the first part again? Um, the first part, let me just read it again. How does ReviewMe actually push social recommendations? Go ahead. I'm going to let Cheryl speak to that one. We actually make that very, very simple for the customer. We either send the customer a quick little text link or an email. Very fast process. We take the onus off of them. They can literally click uh, Facebook, Twitter, or Google. If they're logged in, it allows them to do it right away. If they're not, it'll just prompt them to log in, and that goes instantly. Okay. Uh, we've got a question here from Pat. What differentiates your service from Dealer Raider? Perfect. Thanks, Pat. Um, the keys that we've looked at here in regards to, uh, to dealer rater is, um, first off, this is not a, a dealer rater uh, basting session in any stretch because the reality is, is all of the traditional resources that are out there, especially automotive specific sites like dealer rater, have value. They have eyes on their site. People that are searching are going to those sites. Our complete differentiator is we've chosen to focus where we believe the consumer is doing the majority of their shopping. And what we've heard, and remember, I'm, I'm a software developer. I know Cheryl's a car guy, car girl, excuse me, car girl for so long. But when we looked at this, we saw an opportunity to say, if they're doing 18 hours worth of research online, where are they doing that research? And is there, a, there was an open space in the Canadian market to, for us to be able to work with publishers where you're marketing your inventory. And quite honestly, our focus on us not being Mobile's review site and having third-party sites that you're already working with where consumers are already shopping is one of our key differentiators is, is by working with us, you're getting your reviews and your customer experience syndicated to right now over a dozen publishers as opposed to one with Dealer Rater, and where we believe the consumer is actually doing the majority of the shopping, uh, where, you know, obviously on brands like uh, Auto Trader. Great. Um, okay, we've got a few more. Um, Jasmine asks, do customers have to create a username or account to create a review? I'm excited to answer that one, Jasmine. One of the reasons that we're so successful at capturing so much content so quickly is we take the onus off of the customer. We are instigating it from the dealer side. So when the customer gets their link, they literally have to do nothing but click it. It's all done for them. Uh, before I move to the next question, I've seen um, a few that is um, asking about the, the actual recording. So just to, um, in case you've missed the announcement earlier on, uh, we will be sending out the deck as well as a link to the recording uh, probably early next week to all of those who have registered. Um, okay, so we've got another one here from Craig. Uh, what are the Canadian consumer privacy implications, if any? Uh, are there sign-off and legal verbiage um, backlinking to allow us to use their recommendation? Yes, so that's a great question. And capital privacy law was something that we really had to focus on when we started. So to be very clear, we are 100% CASL compliant uh, in how we, uh, whether we're, we're soliciting a text review with double opt-in. So this is where it gets technical and it's hard to showcase this to you in a, in a very quick demo. So if I don't give a specific enough answer to you, make sure you request a private demo from Cheryl and we can walk through this. But the answer is yes, we've created all of the uh, control gaps that you need for, for being able to opt in and opt out, um, the CASL compliance issues around email and double opt-in with our tech solution that gets sent to the customer. 
to make sure that when you're soliciting a review from a customer and a referral from the customer, it comes in a way that is not going to get you offside with CAFA compliance. And, and that's a, that we could dive into that much more, especially if your legal department wants to speak to that or needs some more information. And that's definitely something that we should take to a private demo and we can give you more of that information. Great. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. There are some, uh, a few individuals who have requested for a demo. So we'll, we'll be in touch. I mean, we've got all your information here. Um, this last slide here shows you some contact information um, so that you can actually request for a demo. So we won't, we won't do any of the demos here live. Um, but that's pretty much it. So thank you so much um, to James and Cheryl for taking the time here um, and joining us here at Trader today to walk us through this amazing ReviewMe product. Um, and thank